Hi, I'm Mike, and today I want to show you how quick and easy it is to get started with Inspector. Inspector is a tool for monitoring your application infrastructure, the machines and services which are required for your application to run correctly. Inspector is different because it tries to be as simple as possible. First, we'll install it. Inspector will run on most popular Linux distros. I'm running Ubuntu 14.04 here, but it's just as easy if you're running Red Hat Enterprise or CentOS. First, we'll install the, the package repo here. Next, we'll install Inspector itself. Now we need to configure it. The most important thing to monitor is the machine itself. Let's create a few critical rules first. In the first rule, rule we'll verify swap. You want swap to ensure your machine doesn't crash if it runs out of memory, but you don't want to use too much of it or performance will suffer. We'll verify we aren't using more than 20%. Next is a load average check to alert us if the machine becomes overloaded for some reason. My favorite production issue is when a machine runs out of disk space. Let's ensure that never happens here. We'll have Inspector notify us if the root disk is getting full. That's it. Really simple to, to monitor your host metrics. Of course, your application isn't just reliant on the machine itself. It requires a bunch of services to run correctly. To monitor a service, you create an ink file within the Etsy inspector services.d directory and write rules about its expected behavior. MySQL is pretty important to my application, so let's monitor it. MySQL is multi-threaded, so it can use more than one core at a time. Let's verify it never uses more than two cores on this machine. Generally, MySQL works best when you dedicate a certain amount of memory to it. You don't ever want to see it grow beyond that amount. Here I'll assume 3 gigabytes. Finally, your application will have a normal amount of traffic and queries to MySQL. If that traffic spikes for some reason, you want to know so you can investigate what's happening. Here we'll assume that normal traffic should result in less than 50 queries per second. Look at all the things I didn't configure. I didn't need to tell Inspector how to start or stop the process or how to locate the process itself. Also note the MySQL queries metric. This is an example of a daemon specific metric. Inspector understands a few of the most popular pieces of open source infrastructure like MySQL, Nginx, and Redis and knows how to pull useful metrics out of them. Lastly, I need to configure Inspector to send email to me for any alerts. You do this in the Etsy inspector inspector.conf file by editing the send alert statement. Change it to use your own credentials so, e so inspector can send you email. Since I'm running Ubuntu, I'll run init cuddle reload inspector. Oops. Inspector will reload its configuration and start checking the rules we've configured here. That's it. Now Inspector will run 24-7 checking those rules every 15 seconds and send you an email alert if anything is wrong. Of course, you can also inspect, ask Inspector for the current status at any time. This was a brief introduction to what Inspector can do for you. Inspector is open source and free for everyone to use. I also offer Inspector Pro with even more features like monitoring cron job execution, targeting alerts to different people or teams, exporting real-time metric data to StatsD, and more. Thank you for watching.